what are we up to? 321 homicides in Philadelphia. That didn't even mention all the people that had actually been shot but not killed. Last week, Steve Keeley went out with a massive police presence to try to reduce the number of guns on the streets. Um, early morning raids, he went along with them. So we want to get to Steve now and see this because we want to know more about what police are dealing with. Yeah, it was a violent fugitive task force. They went Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, rounding up people who have been known to use guns repeatedly when they're not legally even allowed to own them. And they ended up catching 37 of the fugitives. They woke up rudely in the morning, and we went along for one of the mornings. Wake up call, 1.30, and look at some of the guns that they found. And these were guns not even needed with a search warrant because they were in plain sight some guys sleep with a gun in bed and look at the size of these guns uh, you're looking at an assault rifle there an ar-15 four completely loaded magazines enough to shoot 200 and some bullets if they needed to in a matter of seconds so we got a newfound respect for the people in law enforcement they're made up of local state and federal law enforcers who make this fugitive task force and they go in not knowing what's behind the door when they come knocking in the middle of the night. And you're waking somebody up from a sound sleep usually, and that is one of the most dangerous things they could possibly do. Here's a look and listen about what we got. That's what he thought. Stand up with a warrant. Go to your door. That's all that's. What did I do? You got a warrant. What the hell? What the hell? A lot of times, you know, you do your due diligence you know, to track these individuals down and bring them to justice. And they hit the street before you can finish the paperwork. Sometimes that's a little disheartening. This is a dangerous operation. It's a dangerous job that we do. So I just want everybody to keep their head on the swivel, and I just want everybody to come back safely. If you just look straight across this line, you'll see violation of firearms robbery, violation of firearms robbery. So these are some of the more dangerous individuals. What I got a warrant for, a court date that I missed, when the court system not even open, that don't make no sense. I've just never seen nothing like this in my life. Just a blatant disregard for life. I mean, shootings at block parties, at funerals, at graduations. I've just never seen nothing like this. You know, nobody has a regard for kids, women, grandma, grandpa, nobody. Y'all just came to my crib and woke me up. Yeah, because you got a warrant. Man, I got a newsman out here. What? At this point, they're fugitives of justice, so that's why we have to, um, physically bring him in. He has priors of Hoofa, possession, simple assault, DUI. Maybe bring some of these uh, shooting cases down and incidents of um, violence. Maybe we can uh, curb that a little bit to get some of these guys and young ladies off the street. 2017 South 57th Street. <laughs> very good to um, get um, any individual with violent crimes or a history of violent crimes off the street. Come on, boss. Step up in the place. If every agency uh, helps out as they are and we keep coming together as we're doing, you know, we can definitely um, quell some of the violence. I don't know whether we could completely stop it, but we can definitely um, subdue it a bit. We plan to get some of these individuals off the street, you know, to make it a little bit safer for those that want to go to the corner store, or sit on their steps or a porch or, you know, just enjoy the rest of the summer. Well, you can count longtime Philadelphia cop Rochelle Bilal, who thought she saw it all in her Philadelphia Police Department career, now the head of the Philadelphia County Sheriff's Department. And when she saw these weapons that they were getting, and again, these are in plain sight. You can imagine what they got after they went back with search warrants. She said, these are very high-powered artillery weapons, and this is why this city keeps fighting for gun control, why these types of weapons are in our city. No war is going on. Why? We want to find out how they're bringing these guns so we can stop them from doing that. And uh, one other thing we learned, uh, that some of these fugitives are regular Good Day viewers. I don't know if you heard there, but I kept getting recognized out there. Yeah. And uh, I heard we were big in prison, but uh, they have time to both watch this show, apparently, and also uh, do some bad stuff. Yeah. Um, well, the good and the bad. Uh, all right, Steve, thank you. I was thank talking you. to a SWAT officer on Friday. He said that uh, they've confiscated 3,000 
um, illegal guns in this city in the first six months of the year. 3,000. 3, yeah, yeah.